Hello all and welcome back to our channel. So today we'll be discussing about rewards in Odoo 14 point of sale. That is how can we give rewards for customers in point of sale. So these rewards encourage your customers to continue to shop at your, uh, that is shop from your retail shop. So uh, rewards can be provided to customers by using a loyalty program. So a uh, loyalty program uh, contains some rules and using that rules, we can give loyalty points to customers. And uh, by using that points, uh, we can assign, we can provide rewards. Rewards can be uh, free gifts or discounts. So let's see how we can create and configure loyalty programs and use this to provide rewards for customers. So let's open our point of sale. And here under products, you can find a menu that is to create and configure loyalty programs. And we can also set these loyalty programs in your point of sale session. So when you go to settings, you can find loyalty programs under your pricing. So here we can set give uh, set loyalty program for your session. So it gives customers a rewards, free samples, etc. And if you have created multiple loyalty programs, then from those programs we can select one and set it for your session. And uh, from here also we can configure our loyalty program. We can set rewards and uh, points point rules for your session for the session. So I have set a loyalty program and let's see uh, the configuration. So here you can see, uh, can give a loyalty uh, program name, then you can set a point for currency spent. So here already 10 points given per currency. And here we can add rewards. The reward the customer with gifts or discounts for loyalty points. So when you click add line, you can add more rewards or more discounts. So here we can uh, see a um, reward that is free pen. That is reward type is free product and you can see reward costs. When you open this, you can see the, um, see more details. So the reward name is free pen and the reward cost five rupees, five. So this reward cost, this will be reduced from the loyalty, existing loyalty points of the customer. So if the reward is a gift, then that's the cost of the gift in points. And if the reward type is a discount, that's a cost in point per currency. Okay, so here we also we can set the minimum points. So when the customer have minimum 20 points, then only this free pen will be provided for the customer by ordering. So this need to be qualified in order to get the reward. Then, uh, okay, you can see the free gift is single pen. So from here, you can select, change the gift. Then you can see the reward type. It is free product and we can change it to discount. So here I will show one discount. I have added discount 10 percentage with a reward cost 15 and minimum points 100. That is at least minimum uh, 100 points, loyalty points. Uh, should uh, the Customer should have at least 100 points points then only this reward the discount 10 percentage will be given and you can see the discount product here when you select discount discount product can be chosen here then we can apply discount person in as percentage or as fixed amount you can see see when you choose a fixed amount you can see a field to add the fixed amount and minimum amount and here we have a percentage when you select percentage you can set a percentage here uh, so the percentage of the price of the product will be taken. And here we can uh, apply the discount on the order or on cheapest product or on specific product. So when you choose that, you can see an option to select the product. So I'm setting it as on order. Then uh, here you can set a maximum discount amount. So above uh, this amount, uh, we can't give a discount. So here you can see thousand is set as a maximum. And if you set zero, then there will be no limit. You can give a discount without limit. Okay, so you can see for discount reward, 
uh, reward cost is 15, which will be reduced. Then minimum points is 100. That is, and for our free pen is 5. Reward cost is 5. And minimum point is 20. That is minimum point we need, 20. So that is customer need minimum point. Then here we can see the tab points rules. So, so the rules change how loyalty programs are earned for specific products or categories. So apply rules so that it is only valid in specific situation and everything in between. So according to this rule, points will be given for customers. So have created a rule that is rule one, uh, which contains a rule like points per unit will be two and points per currency spent is five. So we have said that and can add multiple rules. So you can see for this rule, uh, for rule, we have set points per currency spend and also for the loyalty program, we have set points uh, per currency spend. So both will be taken. If you have said and this points for cons this is not mandatory that is if you want to avoid for the loyalty program you can remove that or if you don't want to give it for the rule then also you can remove that okay uh, so let's say this and let's open a new session so we have already set the priority program for this for our bar. Okay, that is because we have set advanced cash control. Okay, now let's choose a product. Okay, I'm choosing this tablet DOS. This is because I have given log for the that is tracking for the product, so I have to click that. Okay. So uh, after selecting the product in order line, let's select the customer. So here you can see the customers' names, address, phone number, email, and the points, loyalty points that they have. And when you select one customer, you can see an option to edit the customer. So when you click this edit, you can see, you can change the street, city, pass, uh, postcode, state, country, and uh, uh, you can also set loyalty points from here. And you can change the language, email, phone number, barcode, tax ID. Okay, suppose I'm setting 50 points for this customer and see this. Okay, so here you can see that points is uh, 191. That is 191 points is given for this customer. So this is because, so here uh, we can see the price for this uh, cabinet with DOS is 12.60. And what we does is that we multiply this 12.60 with 5. This is because we have set points per currency as 5 in our rule. That is the rule we have set inside the loyalty program. So we get 63. Then we add it with 12.60 into 10 because we have set uh, 10 points that is points per currency as 10 for the loyalty program uh, not not inside the rule but uh, as a general for the loyalty program we have set 10 that is for per currency so we get 189 and then Then we have set a point uh, that is per unit. Per unit, two points is given. So we have uh, purchased, we have added cabinet with doors with one quantity. So one into two, two. So plus two, we get 
191. So 191 points is given. You can see here 191 points is added to the customer. So you see here when you select the customer. Oh, that is after payment, it will change. So when you make payment. Okay, and when you place next order, you can see. It is changed. That is, it is changed to 191. Okay, so now let's take the reward case. So let me choose a different product, conference chair. And uh, so you can see uh, 20.61. And I'm going to select the same customer. So before he has a point 191 and you can see according to his amount and the rule we have set inside my program and uh, you can see the point 311 is added to 191 and get you finally get fine output okay so here you can see a uh, green color for a reward this is because um, our customer have a minimum point uh, that is 191 we have a minimum point so reward will be applied uh, it can be given for the customer so when you click on this you can see the two options and one you can select one so if you choose free pen then you can see a new product so simple pen is added to this order line and here you can see minus five this is because we have set the reward cost as five in the um, in the reward configuration inside the loyalty program so the point is reduced to 497 and again we have a minimum point so again we can apply reward so let us uh, apply this discount 10 percentage and you can see uh, reward cost minus 20 is reduced from the points and 290 is added to uh, the existing points according to the uh, calculation that is according to the amount and the rule set inside our so finally we get 461 and again you can apply this and then again you can make payment so when you select customer again yes so here you can see again it is changed to 461 so this is how we provide that is get rewards for customers using loyalty program in point of sale if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business drop your request to order at cyprocess.com